late in the day for me today. I'm troubled right now. I need your help. Marcus Conti reporting on himself and his own mental state, his own his own well-being and his concern about the world around him. So I call this one, uh, I still believe. Because I do, I do still believe. What do I believe in? I, I don't know, I still believe, like, I, I just, you know, I started this, uh, I guess, three years ago, following the news, following the, the, the political, you know, football around, right after the uh, 2016 election. I was, a, I was a quiet observer during that. I was certainly wasn't doing any commentary, was not, probably not even able to. And, but nonetheless, I was paying attention. And now it's, I realize that it's, it's 2019 and we're leading into a new election, 2020. Uh, and now there's people that say, here's the deal. I still believe. That's my point. There are 535 Congress, one president. Uh, it's 435 House seats, 100 Senate seats, one president. I believe that. I believe that is. I believe in the American political system, and that those are the levers of power, and that if you want to make change, you have to change those levers of power to make the change happen. Those are the people that write the laws. Those are the people that have the power to make real change in this country. But what happens is they're all, as most human beings, at some point sell out for some greater good, some sense of security, money, prestige, position, crossing over the lake of Brooklyn. <laughs> They sell themselves out, right? Most politicians take they take the corporate money, they and then they turn to the donor and say, "How can I help you?" Right? But the deal, the the problem is this: we could. I've been down in the comments trying to read and trying to understand where where people's minds are at, and um, you know, melting down somewhat <laughs> on my own. But I I want to I want to I want to say that. For the people that don't believe that everything is a conspiracy, that, it, that nothing, nothing in this world, nothing in this human civilization is possible, that it's all fake, it's all an illusion. What we see, our time on earth is so short and nothing will ever change. Just get used to being miserable. There's those people. Sometimes I am that person. Sometimes you are that person. Sometimes I'm reflecting you as that person. I mean, that's the art of this, right? But then there's also the sense of, I do believe that if you, if you can undo the political system with honest people, people that are in touch with human nature, in touch with art, that the sole purpose of their existence is not the almighty dollar. That, I mean, I live, I live so tight and so close to nothing. I scrape by. And I'm okay with that. It's not, I'm not complaining. I'm just, I'm just stating the facts so it makes sense. But if you're a politician, right, if you want to make real change and you want to run for office got to get in line you got to wait you got to run you got to pay this one you got to pay that one you got to you've got to you've got to yes sir kiss this ass kiss that ass right to get anywhere close to a throttle of power now you could take the you could take the uh, the you know the side road which is journalism which is what, what I'm doing which is speaking truth directly into the camera and there's millions of people doing it and every once in a while some of those people that are doing that cross paths with the actual people of power, which is what you saw, which was magnificent yesterday with Joe Rogan 
crossing past paths with the one Bernie Sanders. And that's a moment right there. That's 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 a that's a pivotal moment right there. Is what I want to tell you. Is that you don't have to believe in in the man or people. But but I do believe the things that I believe in are I wouldn't keep doing this if I didn't believe these things. I believe that that human beings in America have have a right to health care have a right to live a a life that is not 12 hours a day of work for not enough money to live that there can that there that far more comes from people peaceably peaceably sitting and talking to each other and creating art creating literature creating movies than it does Work, 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 work. Now, I could, I mean, I, I choose to do this. I could stop doing it, pick up, you know, buy, buy a toolkit and go, you know, swing a sledgehammer out on the street and break up bricks for a living. Right, I could do that. Maybe I should do that, right? I don't know. Or, I mean, how many computer, computer science people do we have? Right? Does the world need... Does the world need another computer scientist? <laughs> another hacker? Ah, you're so smart, you should do computer. Uh, do we need another one of those too? I think what the, what the world needs is Socrates, the art. The, 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 ability, the ability to express. Because that's where change happens, right? Can change really happen is what I'm trying to ask you. Is change really possible? Am I a fool to believe? I don't believe in I don't believe in politicians. I believe in ideas. And I and I and the ideas that are currently available to the American people are available, but they're not accepting it. They're not even they're not willing to believe that it's possible. A universal health care system corporations that don't steal from their own people government of the people by the people for the people very american very american you know idea i'm an american right i hope you are too even if you're not from america <laughs> but it i what i'm trying to say is this and i'll keep it brief i know i'm in the high grass right now but it's important to it's important to com continue to believe and not think that everything outside of ourselves is fake that nothing is possible that if if everything is 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 false and all of our institutions are corrupt and that there just is no hope whatsoever then that is a very bleak place to live yeah? I believe in something different I believe in a like a light switch, things change. My examples of music, uh, I know that, for example, I can, I can point to the exact moments where music changes forever. At least for me it did. The day the Ramones took the stage in 1976, 77, when they started to get recognition, suddenly all the music of the 70s was obsolete. Like that. I'm right-handed, i got to snap with this finger. Like that. Right? And suddenly you couldn't see the world the way it was before that. I know there's examples before that, but those are my earliest examples. Or in 1980, when U2 hit the stage, or Billy Idol and the New Wave bands showed us that, that, that rock and roll doesn't have to be dark and ugly. It could be fun and bouncy. Or, in, or in, and, and then from that fun and bouncy in 1987 something happened guns and roses stepped on the stage and suddenly you couldn't see the world in a light and bouncy way these guys were dangerous these guys meant what they were doing all right they you you gotta you better grab your you grab your daughters and your sons because these fuck guys aren't fucking around everything changes like a light switch it's fast and then in 1991 nirvana all that, all that anger went introvert again. 
And you could see how you could see how consciousness can change quickly. I believe that in politics too. The last time Sanders ran, you saw the you saw the swarm of bees form around him. People meant it. People believed that change was possible. And although it was stolen from the bees, and the bees go their own way because you have to, you can't stay in that in that in that um, cluster because the cluster doesn't it, it it dissipates. But watching Joe Rogan last night grill Bernie Sanders, I believe that that the bees can come back in, in maybe in a, in a little different form. A stronger form, a better form, a more, a more agile form of bee could come and, like Guns N' Roses, change everything. But does Guns N' Roses really change anything? It's just music, right? No, it changes the heart. It changes the mind of millions of people when, when something like that happens. That Joe Rogan thing with, with Bernie Sanders, I'm going to keep talking about it because it's already at four and a half million views. Four and a half million views for a politician, not the president. That's amazing. That tells me that, that, that there is still hope and that me believing is not unbelievable or, or, or false hope. So that's all I wanted to say to the people that don't believe and want to continue to run the narrative that of the past look at only the faults don't look at the don't look at the policy don't look at the 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 positive attributes of the figurehead Bernie Sanders if you want to believe in a savior then Donald Trump is your man no policy j just believe and he's going to fix everything for you. If you want to believe that, that's fine. right? Because we already have that and it, you, clearly it doesn't work. Because it's false hope. <laughs> it feels good and it doesn't require any commitment. It just requires that you believe. Like a religion. But with Sanders, you have to work. You have to, you have to believe in yourself. No savior, just a figurehead. Someone at the front of the arrow guiding it, guiding the missile, guiding the millions and millions of people towards a more just nation, right? So you can choose, I mean, the choice is, the choice is yours, you know, the choice is, the choice right now is, you know, and I do this every day, every day, so it's, for me, it's the, the, it's not only it's not only um, a surface understanding. Every video requires a deep understanding of what you're going to talk about, or you won't be able to talk about it. <laughs> if you don't think so, try it. Try talking about. Try do do yourself. Just try it. Pick up a news article, and and walk around and try to talk about it. If you don't have a deep understanding of what you're talking about, and you'll see what I mean. How you f how you'll flop. Right? So. So a thousand stories later, you tend, whether I wanted it or not, I have this kind of deeper understanding of what's going on. And I'm constantly confronted by people who don't have a deeper understanding of what's going on. And that can come off to, to you as, oh, this guy's full of himself. He's egotistical. And for me, it could come off as, oh, look how stupid these people are. And then there's conflict, and that, then I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do anymore. Compassion. I try to stay compassionate with this, with this work, because I still believe, I still believe that whatever it is that we're doing here, whatever it is we're doing here on YouTube, and I don't believe that I'm any kind of leader in any fashion or any form, all I all I think all I think of myself as is someone who is is just doing the thing 
and I'm, I'm so grateful just to be part of it. I, I really, I mean, there's nothing else that I would rather be doing right now at this time in history than this. And what is this? It's, it's, it's really nothing. It's just, it's just the belief that we could, that people can awaken to a better life than we have. Is life so bad? Is life so ugly? Is life so unlivable? Well, we have, you know, I don't know, half the country's on antidepressants. We have the highest suicide rates in the in the history of the, you know, history of modern society. Why is that? Why is that? I don't know. I don't have all the answers. But I do know that uh, that if you, you, we have to, you have to, you, nothing, you can't just say that everything is fake, is, is my point. Some things are real. I am really standing here. That tree is real. The cars buzzing behind me of people rushing off to do their business is real. The sun rises every day and goes down. Real. Some things are real. That's all I'm saying is if we come together and although although there is corruption and there, and there is confusion in the world to believe that it can't change is is it, it makes me it makes me feel sick. It gives me a a feeling of uh ill and I move away from it I, I try to move away from it and the, the you know and some people you know as I said earlier that some people money is the is the attraction so in an election season we start to see the money flood into campaigns and try to break up communication like this which we're seeing which it, there is evidence on the table that that's already happening okay. So weeding that out, that's not truth. That's not true dialogue. True dialogue is, is very powerful. To disrupt true dialogue is very valuable to some people. And that's what I'm trying to say about the commenting. Where I, can, where I know for a fact that some of the commenting is now, it's just pseudo-electioneering, -elect electioneering, bashing the candidate so that change never occurs. To disrupt any legitimate momentum for political gain. So that's enough out of me. I'm interested in what you have to say. Should I, should, should we, should I, because there is no moderators on this. It's just me. I read the comments and if I suspect it's spam, I delete it. <laughs> and before this, I didn't really do that. And, and I would, I respect your opinions. Should I delete anything at all and leave it all up just know what you're getting yourself into. I mean, I do filter it, and I can tell you that it's th there'll be people that put the same comment 35 times. If you want to see that, I'll just let it all go. Is that what you want to do, or would you like me to continue to moderate the comments so that people can have a little a, a, an actual discussion? Because you could still have an, ac an, a, an actual discussion, but you have to weed through pounds of bullshit. You know, 25 negative comments just to get to you to the person you're trying to comment to if that's what you want then then I'll, I'll just let it be I'll get out of the way I have no problem either way I just want to, I want people to know what's going on because it's not true commentary it's it's political attack Marcus Conti reporting